right, it's Tuesday, and I'm talking trades. We just watched the Super Bowl, and I mean, what a freaking game. Incredible. Um, I would say, where does this rank? I mean, this isn't even part of the trades, but, like, where's the Super Bowl rank on, like, greatness level? <sighs> I don't scale 1 to 10. What do you give it? I'd say it was good. I'd say it was a close game. It was what we expected. Like, um, Steelers Cardinals, 10 out of 10, right? Yeah, this is this is <laughs> like nothing to do with trades <laughs> at all. <laughs> like, there's, there's that some breaks the scale. That's on its own. Like, pa- well, I, like, I also consider Patriots Eagles close to a 10 out of 10, also. Yeah. yeah. But listen, we're talking trades, and actually, the first thing we're going to be talking about is the Bengals. Okay. Wow. And we're talking about blockbuster trades that we want to see. Blockbuster. Offseason. And we're going to start off with the Bengals' defense. Wow. Oh, wow. Right to it, huh? So, rumor has it, the Bengals receive Xavier Howard, cornerback wow. Xavier Howard, wow. and they give up... Eli Apple? Or, no, no. They would give up a 2022 first-round pick and a 2022 fifth-round pick. And Jeez. Eli Apple. Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> he would join the score. He I would, like that. Uh, first and a fifth. I like that. First and the fifth for Xavier Howard. Now, how old is it? He's a no, little he's bit young. older. He's no, young. He's he's younger? Young. Yeah. Okay. I, I feel like I've heard his name like 26, around. 26, maybe? 27? I, mean, I, I wonder about that. I I don't know what offensive linemen are going to be there, but they obviously need to build that. That draft. is. That is. To get somebody in the first round would be pretty big for them. That's the only hesitant part but I have in that. Like what you were saying, seven of their, what, defensive players starting off or starting defensive players were free agents. Mm-hmm. So it's like. I know. I mean, they. They could use the help back there. I mean, they have Jesse Bates. I, Safety, though. Yeah, so. I know. I, know. I, oh, I, I, I like the I, trade. It is a good trade. On one condition, as long as they're able to spend some money in free agency still to pick up the a couple offensive, offensive yeah. lines. I feel like offensive line is definitely their like, mm-hmm. main thing that they should get done first. Which they would have to do. I mean, if they're looking to trade for a safety, they're definitely going to have – some sort of options for offensive line. And it is easier to build an offensive line from free agents and obviously higher-end defensive players. I don't hate it. They The Bengals have a $56.5 million cap, so they'd be able to, you know, give him the – he's been wanting an extended contract. Oh, yeah. So mm-hmm. He's due to get paid. So yeah. so they so, could pay him yeah. and, you know, right. do it big. So I, I did hear, though, that the rookie draft has a lot of really good linemen in it. Mm-hmm. So I'm surprised that Miami out. would even want to trade away Howard, though. I, they got new coach right, because though. the Miami Miami's kind of like in a situation. But their defense where you, like is it twenty twenty two or twenty twenty three? Twenty twenty two. Like the defense is obviously the better part of their team. I'm just surprised right. they want to give away a corner. Like right. corners are hard to find in the draft. Because Miami's there, not, yeah, like a bad team. They they're a team that can compete. That's what I'm saying. saying. They had like a couple he, more pieces. He requested a trade though. So he's well, been, yeah, well, at he's that point, there's only so much you can do. Yeah, I know. Him. <laughs> it's not bad, though. I like it. We got another AFC North team, too. Oh, no. And we got actually two trades from this team. Oh. So what, another talking? Bengals? Huh? Another Bengals trade? No, it starts with a B, though. Browns. The Browns. Wow. This Jeez. one's... Is his name this start with a B? Be, Getting his Odell back. With B? BM? Oh, yeah. Baker Mayfield. Baker Mayfield? Oh, yeah. Whoa. It's a Baker Mayfield blockbuster trade for the Browns. That's so many Bs going on right now. Huh. So the trade would be... They would trade Baker. You have to guess who they're going to trade for. Okay. They would trade Baker a 2022 first, 2023 first, <laughs> 2023 early. third, and a 2024 second That's round. That's too much for Baker. Sure. No, they're getting rid of they're Baker giving Baker plus two firsts in a second? It has to be Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers or Kyler Murray? No. Dude, that for is two firsts. Russ? Russ. Russell Wilson. For, Russ. Oh, for mean, Russell Wilson. Okay. Well, okay, dude, remember, we got to remember picks th- and Baker. This was a trade wow. that was talked about years yeah, ago. I know. Years ago. That's so much still, though. That is a lot. Russ, but uh, man. Dude, Russ is good. I mm-hmm. I don't mind giving them uh, uh, some stuff for Russ. They have, a good, offensive, gonna do they have a good offensive line, too. Yeah? Hey, look right now. I'm telling you. Wasn't Baker the issue in Cleveland? Yes. Like it, That's what know. everybody says. And on my franchise team. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah, that Baker oh man, is. That could be worth it, actually. So the one issue, though, for the Browns is the AFC North is pretty good. I mean, you just had the Bengals over in the Super Bowl. Really have great receivers either. Though. Well, well, what well. are they going to be next year, though? I don't know if the NFC or AFC North is going to be that great next year. Well, well maybe no, the Steelers. No, I don't. Know no but like, I don't I don't even know if the Ravens are really going to do a ton next year. 
They haven't done really anything this year. I mean, we've seen they yeah, won. We'll see what they're out. Lamar Jackson, their whole secondary well. was thing, gone. I think they're going to be Ru- decent and all. Like, reports are saying that Russ has been saying that he does want out of Seattle. That he does want out of Seattle. So, like, does he? I don't. I thought it was like a couple days ago he was like confirmed like that he wants to stay. I don't that's know. Why, that's why it's so it's hard to tell so what they tough. actually want. And again, know. it's Russ, right. too. So, I'm sure he'd. Much rather be in the AFC North than the NFC West. So yeah, <laughs> that's also yeah. true. Get out of that exactly. situation because it doesn't get much more difficult. Well, than that. well division he goes to, I'm sure he's Kyler leaves, and then who knows what San Fran's yeah, keeping Kyler situation is going to be. So, so that's how much uh, that they're projecting. Baker two first, a third, a fifth. Is that what it was? Something uh, like that. Baker, 2023 first, 2023 first, 2023 third, 2024 second. Oh wow! And Baker. What you mean? <laughs> That's not. I mean, if they would actually be able to get him, I would say do it. Now, back to what you said. You said, oh, Russ could go there, but he doesn't have any receivers. Well, we're not done with the Browns. Oh, wow. DK Metcalf coming? There's another what? trade. No, no shot. Um, the Browns could receive Calvin Ridley. Oh! And they're, the rumor right now is Calvin Ridley. a third Ridley, round pick because he doesn't want to be in Atlanta? A second round. 2023 second round. Yeah, I figured. I was just joking around a little bit there, but yeah. But, wow, that would be something. If, man. if Russ got Calvin Ridley on the Browns, man, the Browns could be a team at that point. You know? Oh, yeah. Everybody right now is saying Nick a second-round pick for Calvin Ridley. I feel like a team should offer more than a second-round pick because a second-round pick for Calvin Ridley seems like a steal. But if it Calvin be, if Calvin isn't going to play in exactly, Atlanta, then like, like his trade value goes down if he's like... The longer he Right, stays. but if there's more than one team that wants him, though, then there'll be more willing to give up more. I don't think Calvin really is going to be off the team. I genuinely don't. I think he's going to play for the Falcons next year. Really? Yeah. What yeah. makes you say that? He I, quit I, on I, him. Well, that was the whole mental well health situation. Which <laughs> again, went on but don't you feel like any of that? Don't you feel like him There's not so wanting to be there plays into talk that? around this league about everything that I, I really don't know. I can see Aaron Rodgers again still being on the Packers next season. Here's the thing. Oh, yeah. man. I'd be surprised the Browns, Calvin Ridley We talked so about this earlier. They need that number one receiver because OBJ, we don't know the whole situation there, but OBJ wasn't their number one guy. Jarvis Landry isn't their number – like, he's their number one guy, but he's not a number one receiver. Calvin yes. Ridley is a number one receiver. He would be their number one guy. As long as they have a number, good, really I was good say, number we two. We don't know if he's a number one receiver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A Ridley? Number two he's help. a good receiver, but, again, he's never really proven that he could be the number one. He had Julio Jones last year. He didn't play this season. Oh, but, but there's the nothing proven. He's a he's a hell of a receiver. The game there's, there's nothing True. proven. Could be a GG situation. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Devontae Could Adams be, yeah. would be a much smarter trade for them if they want a guaranteed first re- like number That's one the receiver. They wouldn't be able to get him though, because like they're already uh, giving up so much for Russell. Yeah, there's they, no way. No, you're right. But what if they did a combo mambo deal with Aaron Rodgers Whoa! and Devontae Adams? That would be awesome. Gave up some huge players or oh, some huge draft picks. Their picks for the next five years. At hey, least. look what the Rams did, and again, it worked for them. Yeah, we're talking about hey these. Teams want to trade away their whole future for now. And yeah, where the Browns have to lose. You guys suck anyway, so right. might as well go all in Ouch. if you want to. Dang. Dude, yeah. I, I tell you what. If they got Russell and Calvin Ridley, if it was Russell, Calvin Ridley, Nick Chubb, I would genuinely be scared of the Browns. Oh, yeah. Because their defense finished the top five, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'd be scared. Be like, scared. the Steelers-Browns yeah. thing? We wouldn't be dominating them anymore. Already, like, doesn't, it doesn't probably not Ben's going gone. to it. Yeah, it Ben's gone, gone, so that's <laughs> we're not going to be dominating anything anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, that's great. Mm-hmm. Anyway, we got more trades. We got more trades <laughs> on a Tuesday. <laughs> on a Tuesday, dog. This one goes to the <laughs> Jaguars. The ja- Oh, jeez, they need a lot of trades. I tell you what. Yeah, they they need a lot of trades, but this one could help them out big time. Oh, tell me they're giving up their number one pick, huh? They're giving up their first round pick. No. Ah, oh, dang. That would have got, that'd got pretty juicy. 2022 third round, 2023 third round. Oh, geez. For Marty Cooper. Oh, wow, that's it. I mean, he has a massive contract. That's it? The Cowboys are projected to be $21 million over the cap. I tell you what, though. Jerry Jones could, like almost controls the cap. Yeah, the way that he was structuring cap, yeah, contracts a couple years ago, like he down. knew what the cap was going to be mm-hmm. at because the cap normally increases every year. Yeah. That... If anybody knew how to like finesse it, it would it should be him. But he's a he's a financial mogul. But yeah. Amari Cooper is projected to have a twenty two million dollar contract. So that would clear up the oh, exact man. amount of space. But them signing <laughs> Dak, it's like they know they have to win now. They've already gotten memed after this season. Yeah. 
how that playoff game went. Yeah. Do you think they're going to take a step back and get rid of one of their better receivers? Now they have a really they have a lot of depth at receiver. Mm-hmm. CD Lamb, but baby, they want to yeah. move him up to number one. I mean, sure. Some might even argue that he's their number one now. But I feel like in order to do that, like getting third round picks isn't going to do them much good right now in the present. If they got another player in return. Then maybe it could make sense. Yeah, but who the heck they won from Jacksonville? You know what I'm saying? <sighs> like Marvin oh, Jones, man. he's a uh, Well, I mean, yeah, but that's not a fair trade straight up. No, it's not. Dang, DJ what Chark? I don't know. What yeah, could they use? Amari would be Jacksonville's number one. I feel like not even receiver. I feel like if they, they got would, something yeah. else, they don't need a running back. Their they offensive line's back. getting old, but good luck getting an Say offensive what? line. Yeah, man. right. Jacksonville That's doesn't have a good, good offensive mm. line. I mean, like, uh, on, as far as Jacksonville goes, yeah, that makes a lot of sense if they can get that. I'm interested to see what Jacksonville does with their run game. Remember, they have Travis Etienne. He got hurt last year. didn't play yeah. at all. Mm-hmm. I'm curious what happens between him and James Robinson. I bet year. they keep him. Travis Etienne. Yeah. They try yeah. using him. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah. <laughs> um, next trade we got. He's the most underrated wide receiver in the league. Uh, DJ Moore. I, I seen it. So for I Brandon say Cooks. It. Brandon Cooks, baby. To the Patriots for a 2022 second round pick. Wasn't he already on the Patriots or am I tripping? Mm-hmm. Probably. Mm-hmm. So, he maybe a good pick for sure. Mac Jones. Not for long, sure. though. Yeah. Yeah, sure. For a, what, a second round pick? Mm-hmm. He yeah. was on the Rams, too. He would be their number one. Why has he been all around? He's like a good receiver, too. He's That's been he's the thing. Like yeah, three different teams. He's the like one player, I think four. Four, maybe. I, yeah, he's the one player that seems to jump teams like every other year. And I don't know why. Like, why wouldn't teams want him? There's productivities like, there. I don't, know. I, I don't know. I feel like he'd be – he needs that opportunity to be like that number one guy. And I just feel like he hasn't gone. Well, let me ask you. Well, do you think there's any the chance – but they just suck. Do you think there's any chance – DeAndre was number one. Yeah, but right now – Well, this season, past season he was number one. Yeah. Do you think yeah. there's any chance That's Deshaun true. Watson plays for the Texans next year? Yeah, I, I think anything's a possibility. Do you think he will play for the Texans? Do you think he will play? I don't think yeah. he's going to play. You don't think he's going to play? Yeah. I, I think mean, there's a lot of talks about Deshaun Watson. Because his cases are, aren't they dropped and figured out? I haven't followed like, that in a while. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm not getting old, all the stupid it stories is. and whatnot. Yeah, but yeah. 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 I think I think he will. I think he'll get signed by somebody and he'll play. I could genuinely see him this trade him. turning into a Colin Kaepernick situation where he just doesn't play ever again. That's true. He has a lot more so talent than Colin Kaepernick, but man, I with the way the NFL operates, with how much talent that he has, I find that I find that so hard to believe. Oh, like, I there's think just some fans out there that when or where just won't care. How long is Deshaun Watson under contract to the Texans for? Because mm. I mean, they sh- they proved this year that they don't care. I'll set them. They don't care. Okay, so let me ask you. I I don't think like a year of his contract counted for this year since he didn't play at all. Really? So oh, he can sit for what forever? Oh, that works. I think because he didn't play at all and it wasn't injury based, I feel like that one year doesn't count like towards his contract. Texans I could be so yeah, wrong. The Texans on that. just played a whole year with Davis Mills, so clearly yeah. they don't care. Like they'll, yeah. they'll be like, "All right, sit, bro. We'll, we'll ruin your career." If you well, I mean, like, I feel like they care a little bit because we got to remember also that if he's not going to play for them, they could trade him away and get a lot of value back. Yeah, but they tried this season, and what would they yeah, get for it? Well, they had to deal with the Miami Dolphins, which were very interested, and they the Dolphins pulled out. That's true. That's true. The Texans were asking a lot. Or they were asking yeah, a lot. They were asking for and a they lot. They weren't going to. Yeah. The Which only like, reason why it didn't go through is because wait. of the, the cases. The exactly. longer he doesn't play, you just don't yeah. know what he's going to be like. Yep. Do people start forgetting what happened, though, the longer you wait? Yeah, but they don't forget about the most important thing to them, and that's, hey, is his talent still there? Right. <laughs> Which I'm not saying it won't be, but you don't know. Except the longer, I don't Man. know. He could stink. You never know. I don't know. So, uh, all right, if you had to bet, what's, what's Deshaun watching me doing next year? I say, please. For who? That I have absolutely. Does he control no where idea. he goes, though? <laughs> no. Not, really. not at this point. Mm-hmm. No. I mean, he could hold out and be like, hey, I don't want to play for, you know, whatever team. I think he gets signed, like, week one, week two. I mean, he's already he's already signed. They have the trade him away. Didn't he or, have like, a list of signed, teams whatever. and places he wanted to go? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Because I know the Dolphins. Uh, let let me say well, this. He said he I only feel like to play in Miami because of Brian Flores. And I feel like gone. his power now that he didn't get traded this year is kind of evaporating. Yeah, well, like yeah. he might not have a say. It's I'm either saying. hey, you're going to go to this team or you're not going to play at all. And if he wants to be picky and not play for that team, then he's going to shoot himself in the foot. 
I yep. see him playing for the Texans next year. I don't. You see him playing for the Texans? Yeah. Oh, wow. I don't if I, if I had to put money on it. Why would he? Like, why would he? Because I know he just, like, did this because all for nothing if he's just going to play exactly. for the Texans. Because what if... And that looks yeah. so bad on him. Yep. What do you mean? He Because if he ends up playing for the Texans, like, he held out because he didn't want to play for the Texans. But he wasn't going to be able to play anyways because of his case. Yeah. Like, he was he was on the exempt list. Yeah, but even without... He wasn't going to play regardless. He said he was sitting out. He didn't want to play for the Texans anymore. Oh, yeah. Well, sometimes desperation kicks in. Yeah, but you know how... I mean, you're right, but I'm just saying that this looks bad on him. That's well, stupid. of course. I mean, we see what happened with Le'Veon Bell. <laughs> he held out, and then he got screwed. That's kind of different, though. I mean, he took it, a chance, it is, and it didn't work out. It this is, is different. different. I don't consider this the same. And quarterbacks, obviously, we know are a lot more important yeah. to the game and to people in the. Yeah, you can go. Out, you can go in the draft game. and just get a running back yeah. real quick. I mean, know? hey, look. Sometimes desperate times call for desperate measures, and if he wants to play for somebody, maybe it's going to have to be the Texans. I mean, I can see anything happening. I really can. I mean, he it's committed. He committed himself to him for a lot of years whenever he signed that contract. And they kind of turned their backs on him, that's for sure. They definitely turned their backs on him. A lot of that was their previous head coach slash GM. I was going to say, they traded away his team. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> like, but why would you want to come back to that situation? Right. Like I said, he's in a bad situation. So sometimes you yeah. just got to suck it up and deal with it. Mm. Well, I don't, know, I don't see that happening. These next two trades. No, oh, we got more, baby. Jeez. I don't, I don't, Jeez. I don't necessarily agree with. But really? I want to hear your opinions. Okay. So, the next trade. San Fran, they trade away. 2022 oh. second, 2022 third for Jimmy G. Wait, what? What? They trade away to who? The Bucks. So, the, okay. so that's what they <laughs> get. So, they get a second and a third for Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Okay. That's uh, I think that's, that's, right. what that's, that's what you mean. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> the going rate for Jimmy G right now is a second or a third and a player. So if they're offering him a second and a third, I think they would take it. I do. And Jimmy G once again steps behind Brady's footsteps. Yeah. And again, that's a Bay. rumor, but I I think yeah, the Bucks don't even have a quarterback right now, right? No. Like, they, they have, have Kyle Trask. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, so that's why I, th- I could see that being a possibility. Yeah. I could see that happening too. I don't know if that's in their best interest, but I'm I could see that happening. I'm curious what their quarterback situation is going to be next year. Actually, I wonder what they're aiming for. They're apparently the they're still Rogers. hoping Brady comes back. <laughs> they're like, yeah, they should, they should yeah. stop hoping because yeah. they're going to end up missing the bus on some other guys if they yeah, don't yeah, keep I'm cool hoping. With that. Hey, no, keep yeah, no, I'm fine with it too. But I'm just saying, you know what I mean? Like these, they're going to be like, oh, Brady's going to come back, and meanwhile, oh, this guy gets signed. Oh, this other guy gets. Oh, now there's nobody what left. What if they're really dumb and they're like, you know what? Because there's all this talk. Hey, maybe he's gonna just come back. He's gonna take a year off. He'll come back, you know, after this year. And they're like, all right, we won't back. sign a quarterback. We'll take it out this year and we'll get Brady back. You know, whenever he comes back. I raised that one guy and like, hey, in my opinion, he's not coming back. I don't think he's coming back either. He ain't coming back. Do you think he's, he's just going back and forth or all of a sudden? Oh man, I, I don't know. Like, be, I don't know. I th- he probably just feels bad. He's an intention getter. Yeah, probably exactly. why he's doing That's it. That's what it is. <laughs> hey, you really think if he was an attention getter, he would have said beginning of the season, this is my last run. That's what's shocking. That's what's shocking. Yeah, yeah which did. makes me think it's not for attention, you know? Unless two years down the line he comes back for the last ride or something. Because he like has that. nothing to go back and prove. No. There's nothing to like, the only the way the I only just, way midway wrong. through the season, some their quarterback gets hurt and they're like, Hey Tom. And I feel like he'd still say no. I like, but I, I feel I that. Yeah, but I feel like that's his only possibility because he could just fit right back in. I don't uh, know. But, yeah, okay. Like, I could I could see it happening, sense. but, like, it does I mean, make the sense. thing is, like, if, let's say Kyler Murray, Russell Wilson, and Aaron Rodgers aren't going back to their team. If you're even any three of them, you want to go to the Buccaneers because all the pieces are already put together for you. So would they settle for Jimmy Garoppolo, which is, hmm, who well, knows how problem. he's going to turn out? So, like, I mean, I feel like Garoppolo's he's, had he's success. Cheap. He he's has, cheap, but though. he's he's proven that. And again, you're going to the Buccaneers, which you have all the puzzle I pieces think around. He's them, enough to get them back in the playoffs. Yep. Yeah. And to be honest, that might be the me- the best fit for the Buccaneers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But Jimmy G just doesn't excite me enough to say, "Hey, Buccaneers, they're one of the top Super Bowl like picks for people." No, next I wouldn't year. pick them. I no. would if Jimmy G went no. to the Buccaneers, I would be like, all right, no. Bucks is it, exactly. it wouldn't surprise me though. And that's and that's this me. is what the Buccaneers are built, a Super yeah. Bowl team. Oh, so yeah, sure. That's what if any of those other three went there, I'd be like, okay. Yeah, but hey, I mean Jimmy Garoppolo's been set up with 
maybe set up again with a really good team. He's the luckiest quarterback, I think, in the world. Yeah. No, also, yeah. like, yeah. Genuinely. You, you, you can't say that. Yeah. I was going to say also kind of unlucky, but, like, then again, is he really unlucky? No, he's just, a millionaire. He's just mid. on all these good teams. Oh, yeah. <laughs> just because good team to good team. I kind of like that trade. This last trade is <laughs> it's a long shot. But we're talking about our man, A-Rod. Okay. Aaron Rodgers. I thought you were talking Alex Rodriguez for a minute. I'm like, wow, no, he's switching, no, no, no. switching over to Mr. Royds himself. This man rumored to potentially be, to be traded to the Titans. Okay. They would give up. Did by Tannebaum. Ryan Tannebaum. 2022 first, 2022 third, 2023 first, 2023 third, second, and 2023 third. For Aaron so Rogers. just one for well, man. That was a lot of picks. Holy moly! Two first, a oh, two first, two thirds, and two a thirds. second. Hmm. Seems like about the going for Tannehill. that. Yeah. Wow. I could Wait, see that happening. Man, that is a. F- I don't know. I feel like going to the Titans got shut down. I don't know if he said it or the Titans said it. They're sticking with Tannehill. Not that that means anything, but hey, teams say that all the time. I know, but that's what the 49ers said after they lost uh, the championship game. <laughs> they still like Garoppolo, and now look, it didn't take too long. Yeah, that's true. So, that. yeah, okay, that would make sense. I'm trying to figure out how that would play out, how people would feel about the Titans dude. if they got Rodgers. I, I, I mean, they I could think go it would improve them. I don't think it would oh, hurt them. Dude, I well, think of course, they would yeah. Super Bowl. They Super were the Bowl team? number one seed this year. Yeah, they were. Derrick the Henry, Aaron Rodgers, okay. A.J. Brown. Okay. Okay. Oh. Wow, that's <laughs> hot. That's a fantasy team. Throughout Julio Jones. Wow. <laughs> Bud Dupree. I mean, that's defense. Yeah. I don't well, know. Well, you have to have a good team all around. I, you think, make I think they'd make a playoff run, but I don't see them instantly going to the Super Bowl with that. I really don't. don't would they Not be better instantly. off? Than it? Would they be better? Are the Titans be better off or the Broncos be better off? Who would have a better team if Aaron Rodgers went there? Yeah. The Titans. Well, the Titans are in a worse division. And they have more pieces. The Titans also are in the AFC with like all these like crazy good quarterbacks. I don't know how much that matters. Well, Broncos and Titans are in the AFC, yeah, so it doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, I guess Broncos are going to be worse off because you have Mahomes and Herbert. In the yeah, division. that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. that's, and that's why I don't get why he. I don't get why Denver's an option for him because I mean, if he wants to do it, more power. I team. mean, but well, I feel like he could hang with the big guys. He yeah, he's one himself. Yeah. For doesn't mean Packers, it's going to be easy. Though, getting all that would be huge. Two firsts, two thirds, and a second. It would help. Obviously, the Titans' first round picks are going to be towards the later end of the first round. Yeah, all their picks will be. They're the number one seed in the AFC. But <laughs> if they're also getting Tannehill, that could help. But but here's the thing, though. So you're getting rid of Aaron Rodgers but if you you're have to try Jordan you're Love, don't you? Yeah, you that that is that's one get, thing. But if you get Tannehill, do you? I mean, they wasted a first round. Pick kind on of. Him. That's that's, what's, that's have wasting to do it. it. That right. That yeah. That's also, like after you get rid of Aaron Rodgers, are you just instantly in a rebuild mode? Well, here's the thing no. too. That's the thing. They could do like a three way trade also, like for a, another team that really needs a quarterback. And they, they trade away Tannehill. Yeah. And then yeah. they bring in like yeah. you know another. I mean, their cap situation or, ain't good. Well, no. Saints he, take Tannehill. What about this? What if they do that for Michael Thomas? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Tannehill Dang. comes to the Packers. Does Devontae Adams then stay? T- Do you think depends. that would be convincing really enough? Well, like, so we all think he's getting franchise tagged anyway. So, yeah. it, it de- um, I, I think I, Tannehill is good enough to make Devontae Adams look really good. Yeah. 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 I, I think, dude. They, I think that could be. A, like, I mean, so I mean, like that could be so good for both teams, in my opinion. The thing, like Titans fans. Are, I feel like they're kind of done with Tannehill. Like, they're blaming Tannehill yeah. for the loss. Yeah. Well, that's, that's fair. That's what all he did have a bad yeah. game. He yeah, did have a fair. bad game. But Tannehill also helped them excel. Like, as soon as he went there, he exceeded everybody's expectations. Because whenever oh, sure. he was with Miami, everybody like everybody was like, oh, he's mid, he's okay, mm-hmm. he's kind of a bust a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then he really started doing good whenever he came to the Titans. Yeah. Now, nah, did he just have a good couple of years? I say, he can't hang with the big ones, though, dude. I mean, that, that's fair. That's definitely fair to say. You can't hang with the young ones. <laughs> the AFC, dude. Hmm. The AFC quarterbacks right now are just yeah, insane. Uh, yeah. If you don't got one, it's going to be rough for a little bit. Mm-hmm. Oh. Well, maybe probably a long time. Even if you have one, it's still dangerous. Right, because Josh you're Allen like, wow, we Allen. actually – like, yeah. imagine you're the Chargers, and you get Justin Herbert after you, you had Phillip Rivers this whole time. 
dang, we got this franchise guy for what, almost 20 years, however yep. long it was, and you weren't able to get it done. And you capitalize on a, an amazing quarterback in the draft right away. And now you have all these other guys and now he has to compete with. Yep. They couldn't even make the playoffs with him. Yep. <laughs> that's brutal. Yeah. Because yeah, if you get a guy like yeah. that, you have to win at least yeah. one Super Bowl while he's around. And the thing is, too, all these quarterbacks that are huge names right now are young. So, like, this isn't like a thing that's like, all right. I mean, it's a whole a new era. This exactly. is the next era of the NFL. The era has so started. Like, yeah, like you said, if you're Justin Herbert, if you're the Chargers, you're like, but we're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> like, this, it just seems like deja. Like, I feel deja vu happening all over again. I mean, that's, yeah, what? history repeats itself. You're always and then the, man, I tell you what, if the Chargers aren't, aren't able to get it done with Herbert, and however long that he's there, it sucks that they have they're going to be they're division. going to be looked at as a terrible franchise. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Truthfully, I mean, like yeah. even if they're doing good and making the playoffs, it's like yeah. they can't win one. What would you rank Herbert like in at top ten quarterback? Oh, easily. Like, what would you rank him? That's what I'm saying. Like, what, um, what I probably man, I have to go through it. I probably rank him like. Close to the top five. I don't know if he'd be in the team. I think he'd be oh like man. six or seven. Six or seven there. was yeah. the number that came to my mind. It's yeah. top ten. I don't know where I'd put him. Definitely we'll do. We'll, de- we'll definitely do like a quarterback ranking tier list of the twenty twenty two. Like going into the season, season, how we feel about yeah. it, yeah. Mm-hmm. and we should also do like a ranking of the top moments from the season and whatnot. Yeah. We'll do all this stuff. Make sure yeah. you guys subscribe. It's yeah. gonna be a fun time. Yep. And we're gonna be talking more trades on more Tuesdays. Oh, the Christian on McCaffrey Tuesdays. trade at, dude. Are you avoiding that one? No, I there's there's rumors there, but we're gonna get to that further into the off season once it once more progresses. Uh the other thing everyone's probably gonna be like, Oh, what about the Kyler Murray trade? We're making a whole other video on that. So make sure you subscribe. Got more stuff coming your way. And we'll see you next Tuesday when TJ's talking trades on a Tuesday.